Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Tony. Today, we're going to read The Little Snowplow, written by Laura Conner, illustrated by Jake Parker. On the Mighty Mountain Road Crew, the trucks came in one size, big. That is, until the new snowplow joined the crew. You're such a little snowplow, said the big trucks. Leave the heavy lifting to us. And off they roared. So all spring, the little snowplow cleared strings while the big trucks bulldozed mudslides. In the summer, he cleaned up after parades while the big trucks, they built roads. In the fall, he pushed leaves into piles while the big trucks mounded mountains of salt and sand. As fall turned into winter, the little snowplow began training. He made the light on top go round and blew his horn. Beep, beep. He drove forward and back, then he raised and lowered his plow ten times fast. Everything was working order. He could hardly wait for the snow. Ha, said the dump truck. You've never even seen snow. The little snow plow ignored him. He knew what snow was. Why, well, I remember snow up in the eaves, said the cement truck. Yeah, we had a big, strong snow plow then, the garbage truck said. Too bad she retired, the utility truck said. I heard she moved back to Florida. I hope it doesn't snow like that this winter, the dump truck said. That might too be, be too much for that little snowplow. We'll probably have to help. And the little snowplow turned his bumper on the trucks. But that night he raised and lowered his plow 10 extra times. And the next day he added even more exercises. He pushed loads of gravel and he pulled blocks of concrete just in case. One morning, Will, the road crew foreman, burst in before dawn. It's a real blizzard out there, and the dump truck snorted. Ha! Looks like there's already more than a little snow plow can handle. Beep, beep, vroom. The dress looked soft and fun to the little snow plow. Let's go, Will said, and they drove out into the snow. The little snow plow cleared the mighty mountain, but he kept snowing. So the little snowplow cleared the streets of Mighty Mountain again. It snowed harder, and the wind began to howl. Once more, the little snowplow started to clear the streets. Deep drifts swirled around his threads, and the icy gusts blew against his windshield. Snow plowed up higher than he could raise his plow. He wondered if he should have done more plow lifts. The snow, this one's too big for anyone to handle on their own, Will said. He called for backup. He knew that plow would need help, and the dump truck grumbled as he drove out. And the little snow plow wiped his windshield and kept plowing. Silver Fork, Stampede Out Avenue, Main Street. That's when he heard a rumbling, and he saw the dump truck drive by. Then the little snow plow heard a thundering, and he turned the corner of Mange and Ridge. Just an avalanche swept down the mountain. Whoosh! Beep, 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 the little snow plow cried. We all... He's buried, Will yelled. No time to lose, but it will take hours for the big trucks to move that boulder. The little snowplow drove forward and he backed up and he repositioned. He edged forward and he squeezed past the boulder. Way to go, half pot, Will said. The big trucks couldn't have gotten through that. The snowplow plugged his plow into the avalanche debris. He dug and he dug and he dug and his engine sputtered. His exhaust shuddered. The needle of his gas gauge dropped. Will pointed. There it is. The little snow plow dug faster. Creak, crack. More snow crashed behind him. Hurry, Will said. Shovels of snow flew in all directions. Will raced to attach a cable between the trucks and the little snow plow drove forward tugging. And the dump truck revved his engines and his wheel spun. The little snowplow braced himself and he pulled. Just like he'd practiced, the dump truck's wheels gained traction. And the little snowplow gave a mighty tug. Woohoo! Will cheered. And the dump truck shook snow from his truck bed. I didn't know a snowplow so little could be so strong, he said. Beep, beep. And the little snowplow blew his horn together. The two trucks worked to clear the boulder. When they finally got back to the garage, all the trucks honked and beeped and yelled, Great job, they shouted. The snowplow's headlight sagged and his plow dragged, and he blew his horn beep, beep. He drove forward and back, and he raised and lowered his plow ten times slow. Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for sleep. Teamwork. 
is always makes the job 